there are two big blockbusters bulldozing the box office this summer. Barbie and Oppenheimer. Now, in Oppenheimer, Christopher Nolan's new movie, Robert Downey Jr. plays a key role. And seeing him on press tours in the last few weeks has reminded me of an interview he did in 2015 with Channel 4 News. You may remember this yourself. He was being interviewed by Krishnan Guru Murthy, and Krishnan asks Robert about his issues with substances, his time spent in rehab and jail, things that happened 15 or 20 years earlier. And as you may remember, Mr. Downey Jr. got up, took off his microphone and left. Now, the reason I bring all this up is because this week I worked with an organization on a media training course who were very frustrated about a similar issue. Something that happened years earlier, which the media always bring up. And as you can understand, that's very frustrating. When you want to leave it in the past, you want to move on. So what's our advice? Well, you do have two choices. And choice number one, as explained, is you get up and leave. The problem with that is that's the part of that interview from 2015 that I remember. I fail to remember anything that was said or any other questions that were asked. I just remember the walkout. And remember that an audience is deciding whose side they're on. And I believe in that instance, people sympathized with Mr. Downey Jr. But the second choice that you have is to answer the question and be prepared that it's likely to come up. As a journalist, I've often been asked by my editor to ask about that issue, even if it happened years earlier. Sometimes the audience wants us to ask. It's a very obvious question. They want me to ask of you or of your team, of your organization. So the best thing you can do is to be prepared that that old issue may come up. And if it does, what's your response to it? Is it a short answer that you give the journalist? You make it very clear, no, I want to move on and talk about something else. Or do you want to give a longer answer where you go more in depth, you do your utmost to put the issue to bed once and for all? The choice is really up to you. Selfishly, I'd much prefer you go with option two because mainly it means I avoid getting yelled at for an abruptly ended half finished interview when I go back to the newsroom. If you've enjoyed this video and want to find out more about how we can help you with your communication, email info at pinkelephantcoms.com. We'd love to hear from you.